so this is actually a story that um, when I was a little girl um, on rainy days, um, we would, one of the things we would do is we'd get out the photo album. And we had this huge couch, and we would all line up on the couch. My mom would be in the center, and two kids would be on one side, and two kids would be on the other side. And we'd look through the photo album. Who's this? Who's that? Ooh, who's that? Who's that baby? Is that baby me? Ooh! And we'd look at that, and that would keep us occupied for quite a while. But, you know, after a certain point, you've seen so many pictures of Uncle Omer in front of this car or that car, you get a little tired of it. So then we say, Mom, tell us some family stories. Mom, tell us a good scary story. Mom, tell us something that really happened. And one of the stories my mom would tell is about my father in the water tower. And this is the story of my father in the water tower. She said, you know, kids, when I was still quite young and your dad was still quite young and you weren't even, you weren't even a twinkle in your dad's eye yet, Audrey. But well, we had some kids, and we were already work, we were working hard to, to earn. Your dad had to work extra hours to, uh, to make ends meet. And so he worked at a, at a power plant, and one of the things he had to do is he worked the night shift. And he had to climb up this water tower at night and check on it and make sure that nothing was leaking. Because the water was what they used for the steam, and if it ever ran out, you know, the whole thing would blow up. So it was a very important task, but you had to do it every night. So and he did this every night. Every single night he climbed up this tower, and I never worried about him. You know, he was perfectly strong. There was nothing wrong with him, no reason to worry about him. And uh, so this particular week, it had been windy all week. It hadn't been, all week there had been a lot of wind, and I wasn't worried about him. But for some reason, at 3.06 in the morning, I woke up straight up, wide awake. I had no idea why. But there was sweat pouring down my face, and I could not go back to sleep. And I stayed up all night, and I waited for your father to come home. Eight o'clock in the morning, he came through that front door. And I said to him, where were you at 3.06 this morning? And his face went totally white. And he said, how did you know? I said, what? What? And he said, at 3.06 in the morning, I was climbing the water tower. You know that water tower I have to go, oh yeah, I know the water tower. All of a sudden, one hand slipped. And I actually hung by one hand. The wind had caught me. And I almost fell. Janny, I almost fell. And at that moment, I screamed out for you. You must have heard me. And that's a wonderful story. And that's a story that we always love to hear because it had such a nice ending to it. You know? <laughs> and the thought that our parents loved each other so much that they actually could talk that long distance was really kind of cool. So there's an epilogue to the story. Um, and that is the night my father died. My father died at home. And I was woken by the sound of my father screaming out in the middle of the night. Janny, Janny, I see a dark angel, and his wings are blocking the whole doorway. Janny, I'm scared. I'll be honest with you. I ordered up to drinking. I just rolled over and went back to sleep. He cried out again. He said one more word, and then he died. His last word, Janny, my mother's name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.